welcome, welcome to the Yard Girl channel. So I got a new camera, which is the Nikon D5300, 18 to 18 to 55 VR2 kit. So it's a 18 to 55 lens I, I i got with it so it was on sale i got it for a reasonable price my husband bought it for me for my birthday which is not right now it's way down into september but i'm grateful for it same way so um let me, t let me tell you what are some of the specs it has on but this is just the accessories accessory <laughs> These are just the things. These are just the things that it came with. Mm. Okay. I right, you know what? Let's get straight into the unboxing. Let's get straight into the unboxing. I'm just looking on the things that he came with. Hoo hoo hoo. Yeah. So I got this on a, at a good deal from Vision. So I think, um, and I was looking for one that has a flip out screen as well. So this was was a good one. Now this is just like a warranty thing, thing magic. And it comes with what's this manual? And um, I guess this is um, this is a CD I think that goes for your computer. I guess you can hook up to your computer. Oh, it also has Wi-Fi too. So I guess I can do some streaming as well. Yeah, I think this is the lens. I have to be very careful because everything here expensive. Oh, so the lens now. Okay, this is the lens. Let's put the lens one side. Let's see what else comes. The plug. I think this is like a small USB plug. Yeah, it's not our HDMI. I think it, it comes with a HDMI cable as well. Yeah. Yeah, we figure out that later what it actually is. Which one? If there's a cable. Oh, and there's a strap here that goes with it. And we have the battery. Okay, so I have the battery. Um, it's a rechargeable battery. Yeah, so that's good because you know, you know the old disposable battery thing. And I have the charger that goes with the battery. Yeah, me just like put it here, put it aside. So when we finish, we kind of take them out and take a look at them. And the last thing we have is the camera. I like that they put it into a slot at its own, that it don't, like, it's not with anything else. Yeah, that's it for the box. There's nothing else. I like shake it out. Yeah. Alright, I'll just do it on the box because it's safer. Let's do the camera first. This is how the camera looks. It's not too small and it's not too big. It's not too small and it's not too big. Alright, and look on the side, it has a few buttons here i have no idea of what yet until we kind of really get into it a little bit more to find out about everything else oh it has um the mic here and if you open it it shows like what you can see here the hdmi um i think that's like for the input or something like that and oh you have a slot for the mic so you can put the i think you can put the mic attachment up here so that's good Right, you will be, be able to um, hear me a little bit better. I think this is for the strap and um, menu. You choose your, your selection and stuff like that. So let's look at the flip out screen now because this is the part that I like. It has a nice screen. It's big. I don't think it's touch screen though. So yeah. And it rotates. So it flips to the front, which is the thing that I love. So I could see myself when I'm recording. When I'm recording. So i'll be able to see myself but i won't be able to be looking over there too much because it all seems like i'm not looking on the lens you turn it back around and you flip it back in and just snap it 
yeah you can look through your lens there you have your option buttons here your delete button your ok button and stuff like that and then on top here you have your dial that you use to adjust for your settings so it, it will let you adjust to your scene which is your movie or auto which you know it's an easier mode and yeah so the dial is right here so it's on auto right now and you choose whichever settings that um, you like better if it's manual or if you want um, any effects or anything like that so yeah and the Wi-Fi I don't know how to connect the Wi-Fi yet so once reading through maybe it's an app that I have to download I'm not too sure as yet and um, I have an information button don't know still don't know what that mean yet until we get deeper down into it and um, I am assuming th this looks like a record button so I'm assuming that's for recording recording your movie recording your movie and um, yeah and the on and off button which is the most important one so it's on on and then it's on off yeah and it shows you right here yeah and I think there should be a flash oh yeah there is a flash so the flash you press the button oh I guess it won't I guess when it's on it will pop up like there is a, a, a flash right here so once it's on it will pop up so they will pop up like that to like go up okay yes yeah, so now since I show you all of this on the camera I'm gonna put the show you the lens before I put it on I'm gonna show you the lens so this is the lens I, I really think that they should have you know put a little bit more padding into the paper because the lens is so expensive but I guess you, you just have to do it what they give you so I'm just let me take off the cap first oh and um I did mention earlier that it's an 18 to 55 m um, ml um lens that I got it was it came with it so it was a good it was a good one okay all right let's take this off and put on the lens take off the cap and click on it and I'm just gonna put it on there And you just turn it to the other side so you're gonna rotate it until you hear a click you hear that click okay so it's fully in place now so when you want to eject it you use this button here earlier I didn't know what it was for but as I go I figure it out I figure it out this button is to eject it eject the lens because you can't just put it in and then you know you have to take picture and it does drop out you know what I mean so you know say good okay so let me show you how to take it out and I, I just place it on here and just do it that way and I hold it down and turn it to the other side and it's out I'm just gonna put it back in now and click and then it's in so it's in now so this is how it looks with the lens on this is how big it looks with the lens on okay and there's also a cap so when it's it's not in use you can put the cap on it which is a good thing for the lens to protect the lens because as I said this is the lens it's very expensive so with the lens you can I think you can do this go out for so your, your zoom out and you zoom in zoom out turn it as you can see it you zoom in so it will be way better when I'm actually using it when the camera is actually on so yes yeah, so I'll put a video in this when I'm using it to let you know how it is and you know how it's working for me if it's pretty good and I'll take some pictures and, and some video with it as well so this is what I basically got for my birthday oh and I also got with um, the deal I also got my Nikon bag which I have here a Nikon bag I think it's very big but 
you know the bigger the better also i also got with the deal is a 32 gig kingston um sd card so they didn't have any higher one because i wanted like a 128 or are uh 256 that's what i wanted but you know all they had was the 32 gig and because me i get it free me i go take it so i got this the card with the bag free for the price that i spent for the camera so it was a good deal i bought it at oh so let me show you actually let me just show you quickly my bag you know i didn't even look into the bag but let me show you quickly so it's just standard bag okay I'll just move the camera out of the way and here it has a uh, padding into it oh it has a uh, oh no I thought it was like a uh, one more strap but I guess not and it has some compartment in here oh, oh. okay 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 so this part can't can come off so you can put you can store it just in case you have more than one camera you can store it in there or like for the cards and stuff i guess you store it apart differently from the camera because you don't want them to be you know scratching the camera and which is good so and i guess this is this side is the same thing as well uh, so which is good it's not fancy but it's a good padding it's a good protection for the camera so i love it i really love the love it so yeah this is all i have for now with my new camera my new nikon no, no, let's try to put this away with my new nikon d 53 100 5300 actually 5300 and yes i will upload videos with this as well and i will um also let you know how it's working for me so please do subscribe to my channel for more videos all right so shout out the girl i'm out later